or isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the MyTown TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the MyTown Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the MyTown TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the MyTown Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned.
Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned.
Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. and welcome to the Clark's Pump and Shop Boys 64th District Basketball Championship. Tonight we are live from Summit and the Boyd County Middle School Gymnasium as your 64th District 1 seed Boyd County Lions play host to the 2 seed Ashland Tomcats in a very highly anticipated matchup. I'm Greg Preston, glad to have you along tonight. Boyd County and head coach Randy Anderson come in as the defending 64th District champions and a record of 24 and six while riding a two game winning streak after beating Greenup County six nights ago. 
by a score of 96 to 61. Ashland and head coach Ryan Bonner are on a one game winning streak after defeating Fairview in the first round of the 64th District Tournament on Tuesday night, 73-48. The Tomcats have an overall record of 20 and nine and they are the five time defending 16th region champions. Joining me tonight on the Buffalo Wild Wings pregame show is the voice of the Ashland Tomcats, Chris Pullum, uh, here courtside along with me. We'll also have Tom Holbrook and Mike Miller who will give analysis throughout the game as well as coaches' interviews. And Chris, I think that we're probably to the point everybody thought this was going to be at the beginning of the year. Yeah, in fact, I think most people, ex obviously we expected to see these two teams in the finals of the districts. And I think there are several who believe these two teams could end up facing off again in a couple of weeks in the finals of the 16th region. And of course, the team that finishes, that loses here in the 64th, is going to have a tougher road to hoe in sure. the 16th. But uh, both of these teams, as far as I'm concerned, I won't say head and shoulders, but at least uh, eyebrows and, and noses over yeah. the competition. Well, and on the flip side of that, even the, whoever loses this ball game, they're not uh, whoever in the uh, the district gets it. They're not going to want to draw this draw. No, absolutely not. This is a, a tough, tough draw. Uh, whoever draws either Boyd or Ashland yep. out of the gate, even in the, on the winners bracket yep. side, if you're going to draw Boyd or Ashland. You're in for a tough game. Yeah, one. you're going to have a tough first round, and, and you know, and in all probability, uh, for someone other than these two to win it, you're going to have to go through both of them. Absolutely, absolutely, and you know, you've got uh, Rowan. I think is playing pretty good basketball. Playing really uh, well. Greenup's playing good basketball. Fleming, of course, beat both of these teams yep. on their home floor. Still remains to be seen if they can get it done on the road or in a neutral site. But you know. They've done it once. They could do it again. But, uh, again, yeah, these are the two teams. Yep. And let's, uh, right now we've got some video. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about Ashland's Xander Carter. And, you know, Xander comes in as uh, now Ashland's all-time leading scorer. He has changed his game so much in the last, uh, uh, well, over the last year into where he used to sort of shy away from contact. Now he looks for contact, and he uses contact to create space to get his shot off. And, you know, Xander, the, the leading scorer on the team with 23 points a game. Ashland really depends on him to carry the load, but he doesn't do it alone. There are other players on this team that can go out and get to 25 any night. Xander's your most reliable, and he has to have a good game to win this one. And, you know, for Boyd County, you take a look at Jacob Spurlock. He's the leading scorer as well uh, for his ball club. He's averaging around 23 a contest. Uh, he's gotten a couple of Division One offers now. And uh, I'll tell you what, you give him any space at all, it's uh, it's likely to go Absolutely. up. And uh, at a 43% clip from behind the line, uh, he's shooting it pretty well, and he does a great job on the backboards as well. And on top of that, uh, this year he, he hit 121 three-pointers in regular season, which breaks the 16th region regular season record that he set last year with yep. 120. Yes. And, you know, with that being said, he's a sophomore, and he's the second leading three-point uh, shooter in the history of the 16th region. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's, uh, you know, that's a no small feat behind Gage Hughes, I might add. So, let's go ahead right now, step out, take a break, and when we come back, uh, we'll talk to both coaches. You're listening to the Clark's Pump and Shop Boys 64th District Basketball Championship. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Kentucky. 
Buckle up and put the phone down. A picture can't be replaced, but your home can. Leaks, fires, or floods, none of us are ever prepared. The last thing you want to do is deal with your insurance company. Trust the pros in yellow. We'll deal directly with them to give you peace to know your home will be restored. Service Master Fire and Water Restoration. Let your tax refund drive you right to Laid Back Larry at Affordable Automotive in Ashland this tax season for the vehicle you've always wanted. Don't let your tax refund slip away. Come see Laid Back Larry at Affordable Automotive today. The Ashland Area YMCA is where families and friends come to stay active and have fun. We offer a wide range of activities and classes, a safe and welcoming environment for kids. We also provide tutoring for middle and high school students. Follow us on social media at the Ashland Area YMCA. Back in Summit now, the boys' 64th District Basketball Championship, Boyd County and Ashland here tonight, brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. And we're in the Buffalo Wild Wings pregame show, and we've got Tom Holbrook uh, across the court, uh, and he's got co uh, head coach Randy Anderson. Thanks, guys. Uh, as he said, Coach Randy Anderson, Boyd County coach. Uh, coach, you all you have defeated the Ashland Tomcats twice this year already, but this is a district championship. You know as well as I do, you can throw records out the window. What can we expect from the Lions here tonight? Uh, boys, we haven't played since last Friday, and so uh, – Hopefully that drilling kicks in and uh, things will be good. Uh, we've had we've had three really good days of prep. Uh, we had a good circle last night. I feel like our guys are in the right mode. And um, so anyway, I mean this is this is what it's all really comes down to. It's everything you do in the summer, everything you do in the fall, everything that you do during the 30 game stretch of the regular season is to prepare for nights like tonight. And just really really happy that our kids. Both sides of it. We've got a great crowd, great enthusiasm, and uh, we talk about memories and relationships all the time. And this is a memory. And uh, just hope that uh, once again our threes are falling. What's it going to take for the Lions not to come out here victorious, Coach? Uh, we we've got to really be good on defensive transition. We've got to win the boards, and then offensively just be patient. Whatever they throw at us, they here recently they. have They've been pressing and doing some things, and so hopefully we'll have enough patience about it to exploit some of that. Coach, thank you very much. Good luck tonight. Appreciate it. Randy Anderson, folks, back to you guys. That was Glenville State's pesky little point guard, <laughs> Randy Anderson. Boy, he, he was a fiery player when he played there and at Ripley High, and, and now Randy Anderson. You can see that sort of reflected his team, can't you? Uh, yeah, right? you can, and, and, you know, last game, uh, a nice little video clip of him as well. That's right. <laughs> and, you know, I, I'll tell you what, um, crowd here tonight's already great. And what else, uh, you know, you wouldn't expect less. No, and, you know, something Tom said even before that interview that I think strikes a chord about tonight's game is this game, yeah, sure, both teams have skill players that can do special things. Has nothing to do with the outcome of this no. game. This is about toughness. This is about who mm -hmm. is going to get down in the trenches and do the dirty work to get the win tonight. And yes, you know, Ashland. At times, I've I've accused them of maybe being a little soft. Can they punch back when they're punched in the face? And they have at times. At other times, they haven't. Uh, but tonight, uh, it's really no choice because Boyd County is going to come out swinging. Well, and, and you know, Boyd County is going to have to get some stops. Yeah, I mean. They're, uh, they're capable of putting a lot of points on the board, but it's postseason time now, and, you know, you're going to have to get stops is what it's coming down to. And now Mike Miller is with uh, Ashland head coach Ryan Bonner. Yeah, thanks, Greg, with Coach Bonner here. I know, Coach, you're having a little issue with your voice. I'm sure your team won't have any trouble hearing from you tonight, but your final, not your final, but your number one priority for this team to come out of here with a 64th district championship tonight. Value each possession. Value every single possession. I thought the last time that we played them, uh, there were some breakdowns in offensive possessions that led to big runs for them. And they're a team that are that is very capable of making big runs and chunks. So just just value each and every single possession. And I think we'll be right there when the time comes. One, one more question. Obviously last year you come up short in this one, wound up winning the 16th region. How important is it to you and your team to pull out a victory tonight? Anytime you're playing for a championship, it's important. Uh, doesn't matter what it is you're doing. So uh, that's who we are. That's in our DNA. So 
uh, every night we come out here and the lights are on, it's important to us. All right. Thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight, and we'll see you next week in Moorhead. Greg, Chris, back to you. Thank you, Mike. And, you know, uh, uh, I think he, uh, Coach Bonner had a, a very good point about valuing every possession, uh, and it's, it's that time of year. Mm -hmm. And, and that, I think that's sort of yeah, – he's saying the same thing I was saying just in a different way, and I, I said they play soft at times. It's really not they play soft. It's that they, they sort of uh, go into uh, airhead mode every now and again for a couple plays, and they'll just make some bonehead plays and against – most teams, they can make up the ground on that. Against Boyd County, no. If you give them two or three extra possessions, they're going to make you pay every well, time. Well, but, you know, the Lions have those lapses at times as well. So, you yeah. know, it's uh, it's uh, it's going to come down who makes stops. I mean, it really is. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, both teams will make plays. <laughs> and, you know, these are two incredibly talented offensive oh, teams. Yes. No but you're right. It's going to come down to who can who can get stops on, on, uh, on their defensive end. And, you know, for Ashland, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see who Ryan comes well, out with on Spurlock uh, yes. because they've, they've gone a couple different ways in the past. They've, they've put Braxton Jennings on him, and Braxton did a pretty good job on him. They put Asher. I think Asher Atkins did the best job on him. But here's the thing. You shut down Spurlock, and what happens? Well, you had last, game, last time was Cole Hicks right. uh, who just lit Ashland up at home. Um, so it's not it's it's not going to be you shut down their best player and you win. Both teams have second and third yes, options that do. can that can get you over the top. And you know, uh, you, you know, Xander Carter is going to get his. I right. mean, that's just it's just as simple as that. And the last two times these teams have met, Asher Atkins has been a big difference, averaging about mm. twenty points a game. You know, he comes in and averaging just under eight a game, and when he gets you twenty each outing, that's a big big bonus. But if you're going to send him to, to yeah. guard Spurlock, he's going to have to expend a lot of energy right, right. there. This game just means more to Asher. You can see it when he steps between the lines. Oh, absolutely. He, he becomes a beast when that happens. Mm -hmm. um, let's go ahead, step out, and take a break. And uh, when we come back, uh, we'll take a look at the tonight's keys. Back after this on My Town TV. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. never know what you'll find at the library. Sure, we've got books, but we've also got free programs and events for all ages, from Anime Club to Zumba. Check things out at your Rowan County Public Library to see just how much is waiting for you. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology, 
to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. in Summit for the Clarks Pump and Shop Boys 64th District Basketball Championship. Boy County and Ashland round three again here tonight. And Chris, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the keys for tonight's game. Sure, my keys to victory for Ashland. First off is Ashland needs to crash the boards. When you're going up against Ellis and Spurlock and Holbrook inside, you must commit extra players to keeping them off the offensive glass. Big key for Ashland. Number two, pressure the ball. When a Boyd County player catches on the perimeter, you must make them put the ball to the deck. You cannot let them keep their head up and look for passers or get a shot off. And finally, this Ashland team needs to play with some swagger tonight. Cole Villers isn't walking through that door. Colin Porter's not walking through that door. Ethan Sellers isn't walking through that door. Ashland needs to find that swagger tonight against Boyd County to get them over the top. And the keys for Boyd County, thanks to Mr. Tom Holbrook here next to me. Uh, number one, you've got to be physical tonight. You've got to, to make uh, – Asher Atkins can't get to the rim and uh, Carter cannot get to the rim as well. Uh, they have to win the glass, win the rebound battle. you got a good shot at winning. And they have to share the basketball. When they share the basketball and get uh, a great shot instead of a good shot, uh, then you're doing good. Let's go ahead and step out, take our final break. When we come back, we'll take a look at tonight's starting lineups. You're listening to the Clarks Pump and Shop Boys 64th District Basketball Championship on My Town TV. One in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. And we're back in Summit, the boys 64th District Basketball Championship. And we're about ready to take a look at tonight's starting lineups. And when we do, we're gonna send it over to Mike Miller uh, to let Mike Blankenship, uh, the PA announcer here at Boyd County, uh, announce both teams. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the campus of Boyd County Middle School for the championship game of the men's 64th District Tournament. With the guest on the scoreboard, the Asheville Tomcats, and the home team on the scoreboard, the Boy Cutty Lions. First, the starting lineups for the Tomcats. Number one, Xander Carter. Number five, Asher Atkins. Number 11, Braxton Jennings. Number 14, 
Cameron Davis. And number 33, Nate Freeze. It's Carter Davis, Atkins, Jennings, and Freeze. And for your Boyd County Lions, it is Hicks, Spurlock, Ellis, Taylor, and Holbrook. And we're about ready to tip it off here in Summit. 64th District Championship for the boys on the line. It'll be Ellis for Boyd County and Carter for Ashland to jump it up. Tell you what, you can cut the intensity with a knife sure tonight. Can. I like Ashland in a defensive tip lineup here. And here we go. P.D. Harris will throw it up. Tip is one by Boyd County in their front court. Hicks with it. Gives to Spurlock. Drives cut off by Jennings. Boy, uh, Ashland in a man-to-man -man here. Hicks with the basketball. Drives in the lane. Puts it up. No good. Spurlock with the tip and in. There's that offensive rebounding we talked about. And uh, we've I'm got sure a whistle. What the call was. I don't know. 2-0 Boyd County. I guess the clock is still at 7.57. It I didn't got start. It. Okay. So it's a 2-0 Boyd County lead. We'll have to see yeah. what the clock's going to say. You know, and just to recap that play right there, Ashland you know, did a good job rotating over the help defense. Yes. That second help defender did not rotate down to box off Spurlock. That was the issue there for Ashland. And they've got to figure it out because well, Spurlock crashes the offensive glass. But that's a good. Uh, that's what Ashland does really well as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they hit the offensive boards. Boyd County uh, set to play some defense here. They got the got it down to 7:32 on the clock, and that's where we'll start it. Two nothing Lions. Lions are going to pick up in a half court man to man. Davis to Carter, left side now to Atkins, picked up by Taylor out front to Freeze. Ellis is on him to Jennings. Back door it goes to Carter, who lays it up and in. And we're tied up at two, 7.15 left to go first quarter. Our two feature acts, the first two on the board, Greg. Yep, and you got uh, Braxton Jennings on Spurlock here face-to-face. -face. Holbrook with the basketball left side, gives the Spurlock out front. He'll drive down the lane, put it up, and score. He's got all four Boyd County That's points. Ashland in a hurry the other way. Jennings gets in the paint, lays it up short. Spur with the rebound. Into the front court with it, middle of the floor, drives, cut off. Goes to Hicks down in the left corner. He'll dribble out, goes between his legs, out near the hash mark now. Gets a screen, moves to his left. Little jumper way hard. Backside rebound goes to Carter. Carter leads the break, goes around. Holbrook puts up a runner, and he walks. He went up and down, and uh, he had the shot. Ellis timed that perfectly with a challenge, though. I'm not sure he would have been able to get that off. And just can't waste possessions against this Boyd County team. Six and a half left to go, and the clock running here. Taylor walking into the front court. Davis picks him up at the timeline. Left-hand dribble, crosses over to his right to Spurlock. He'll drive around, gets to the foul line, puts it up, no good. Carter with another rebound. Carter leads the break into the front court to Jennings, right side. In the corner, it goes to Atkins out front, freeze with it. Now back to Carter, out in the circle. Holbrook is on Carter, and the boy County man-to-man. Freeze top of the key with it, moves to his right, looks, picks it up, and gives to Davis. Davis gets a screen, goes out top of the key, left side to Carter for three, it's no good. Nice box out and rebound by Ellis, gives it up to Spurlock. 4-2, still Boyd County, 5-45 in the first. Spurlock from 30 hits. That's seven for Spurlock, all seven Boyd County points. It's a 7-2 game, just over five and a half in the first quarter left. Freeze with the basketball, hands it off to Jennings out top. 
Jennings dribbles it out to the circle. Now Spurlock is on him. Now near the right side is where Jennings has the basketball. Keeps his dribble alive. Gets top of the key. Moves to his left. He's matched up with Ellis. He'll take him in the paint. Spin. Shoot. It's no good. Spurlock with the rebound. Spurlock into the front court. Crosses over. Step back three. No good. Ellis gets the offensive rebound. Well, no, it's going to end up in the hands of Carter. Carter runs the break, gets in the paint, left hand up and good, and he's fouled by Griffin Taylor. Boy, Ashland needed that to break Boyd County's momentum, and Spurlock's momentum, I should say, with seven in a row for Boyd County, and Ashland still a little cold from the floor like they were against Fairview the other night, just not hitting shots they typically hit. That was a nice shot by Carter in traffic, mm -hmm. a chance to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way, and he does so. So we've had Spurlock score seven, and Carter score five. So it's a seven to five game, Boyd County on top. 4.51 left to go first quarter. Spurlock with the basketball, gives it to Holbrook, moves to his left, gives to Taylor. Taylor to Spurlock, right of the key. Spurlock back to Taylor, drives, foul line jumper, mid-range game. Beautiful game. shot. Griffin Taylor, his mm -hmm. first two. Carter with the basketball, crosses the 10 second line. Holbrook picks him up, gives the screen, moves to his left. Now back to his right, foul line, he's cut off, gives to Davis out top. 4.20 left to go now in the first 9-5. Lions on top, 64th District Basketball Championship on the line here. Davis still dribbling the basketball. Carter's telling him to reset it. Now he picks it up, goes to Adkins on the left side. Goes down low now to Carter. Had to try to save it inbounds and does so to Boyd County. The Lions will run the break. Holbrook with it, comes up short. Taylor with the rebound, kicks it back out to Ellis. Now to Hicks in the corner three, good. Yeah, Hicks. Coach, Coach Bonner might need a timeout here to settle things down. Ashley completely out of form offensively. And uh, Atkins misses a three, Boyd County on a break again. Hicks with the basketball over on the left side. He'll drive in the paint. Back door, it goes to Taylor, loses it, and gets it back. To Ellis, back to Taylor, reverse layup, no good. Atkins with the rebound. Atkins now throws it ahead to Cam Davis. He's cut off underneath the basket, gives it back to Atkins in the corner. He'll drive in the paint, lay it up, it won't go. Taylor with the rebound. Taylor picks his dribble up to Hicks up the left sideline. 3-10 left to go in the quarter. 12-5, Boyd County. Hicks goes behind his back, gives to Ellis on the block, lays it up and in. I thought that was going to be a little bit hard, but it's found its way through. 14-5 now. Boyd County up nine, under three minutes left to go first quarter. Boyd County and a little sagging off man-to-man -man here. Davis will move to his left, give it up to Carter, brings it top of the key. Tries to go around Ellis, stop, gets in the paint, kicks it out to Atkins, charging foul. Red Holbrook stepped in and took his 21st charge of the say, year. He's no stranger to taking those, Coach. Nope. Carter picks up his first, the first foul of Ashland on the night. Boyd County a chance on this possession to take a double-digit lead. Tyler, uh, Tyson Lalone ready to check in at the next whistle for Ashland here. Taylor into the front court. Left side, Spurlock on the wing. Gives it up to Hicks. Hicks out front now to Holbrook. Right side, Taylor. Down in the corner, it goes to Ellis. Freezes on him. Back to Spurlock. Turns, shoots three, no good. Gets his own rebound, drives baseline, steps on the line. And Ashland will get it back. 2.16 left to go in the quarter. Davis out, Lalone in. Now for Ashland. Yeah, you know, Lalone has the ability to spark this team offensively. And right now, Ashland completely stagnant on the offensive end. Carter will bring it up now. Gets it across the timeline. Spurlock on him. Gives it up to Adkins out front. To Jennings. Now it goes to Carter. Carter goes between his legs. Ellis is on him. He'll drive on Ellis. Lays it up. No good, but Ellis fouls him. Jason Ellis is going to pick up his first. The second on Boyd County. And Carter, a 68.1% free throw shooter to the line for two. He's the only Ashland player to score thus far in the quarter. Mm -hmm. First one by Cor uh, Carter is up and good. Looks a lot better than 68% with that form, though, doesn't he? Well, you know, he carries so much load offensively and even defensively. I think he has trouble just settling his nerves when he gets onto the line. And 
slowing things down. You need to be calm when you shoot free throws. Hicks with it now to Taylor. Taylor left alone, drives, cut off by Freeze, gives it up to Ellis, who lays it up and in. 16-6, Boyd County, a minute 39 left to go now in the first. Carter with the basketball out between the circles, backs it out again. Looks, still looking, not a whole lot of movement right here on the offensive end. Jennings with it, out front it goes to Freeze. Taylor, or make that, uh, Ellis is on him, now to Jennings. Jennings moves to his right, step back, 15 footer good. Nice job there by Braxton Jennings. Finally somebody else from Ashland gets on the board. 16 to eight, just over a minute left to go first period. Now pass taken away by Jennings. Jennings is gonna go all the way down, lay it up, good, and he's fouled by Holbrook. It's a good, strong take by Jennings. I, I, you know, I criticize him sometimes for falling asleep during games, but that was a heads up play to jump that passing lane. 16 to 10 now is your score. A chance at a three point play the old fashioned way here by Jennings. Not sure what the conversation is at the well, table. I, uh, they're gonna make sure they got the foul correct is what I think they're doing. I thought it was, uh, you know, Holbrook was yeah, the only was one around. Yeah, it had to be. So Jennings to the line, 60.9% on the year. Guys, I think that was an official's warning to both benches for a little bit of jawing under the basket there. I understand. And this one in and out, Spurlock with the basketball. I would be disappointed if these teams weren't jawing yes, a little bit. Be something wrong, wouldn't it? Spurlock straight away three in and out, Lalone with the rebound. Ashland scored the last four. Lalone into the front court around Ellis. Gives it up to Jennings. Top of the key, three on the way, good. Jennings now with the last seven for Ashland. Yeah, he really, last year in the Sweet 16 is when he really established himself as a scoring threat. And he can light it up, he can get you 20 any night. 16-13, now to 23 seconds left in the quarter. 7-0 run by Ashland since they got down by 10. Little pick and roll action, Ellis will lay it in. Yeah, bad read there by Ashland. Both defenders went with the ball, left Ellis open for the roll. Carter the other way, tries to answer with a three, no good, Ellis with the rebound. Down to three seconds left, Taylor's gonna get it into the paint, shoot, and no good. And that is where the quarter is going to end, 18 to 13. Boyd County on top. Back after this on My Town TV. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at The Clark's Pump and Shop 64th District Basketball Tournament. Getting ready to start the second quarter here in Summit. Boyd County and Ashland. The Lions lead it here at the end of one, 18 to 13. Ashland really struggling to find their form offensively. And they seem to be more interested in trying to run their set rather than just play basketball. And I'm sure that's what Coach Bonner had to say at half to, or at the uh, at the end of the quarter. Well, at the end of the day, neither team's showing everything they've got either. And we missed Mike Miller who had a report. Oh. Mike, we'll get you next time. Got it. Jennings with the basketball. Goes down in the corner now to Freeze. Gets it on the block to Lalone. Back to Freeze for three. It's uh, no good. Nice block out that time mm -hmm. by Taylor. Spurlock with it the other way. Spurlock has it taken away. Here goes Lalone the other way. Lays it up and in. Lalone with his first two of the night. And it's an 18-15 game. Boyd County by three. Yeah, Ashland needs Tyson Lalone to be a scorer tonight. 
Ellis with the basketball, right side, freezes on him to Hicks. Hicks will drive, cut off, gives to Ellis. He'll drive, spins, cut off by Freeze, goes up anyway off the glass, no good. Freeze with the rebound, gives it up to Carter. Up the left sideline to Adkins. Adkins will drive in the paint, dish it far corner to Lalone who misses the three. Ellis with the rebound to Spurlock and the Lions will slow it down. 6.44 left to go in the half and a three point lead. Good decision here. Things were getting a little bit loose on both ends and yes. Floyd County trying to get control of the game again. Hicks with the basketball. Tries to drive, goes to Taylor, who puts up a 15-footer baseline, no good. Ashland going the other way with it. Carter kicks it now to Adkins. Drives Martin, who's in, gets the foul. Martin must have checked in at that last break, and I didn't catch it. He came in for Holbrook. We missed that one. Hey, guys, just real quick, Coach Bonner in the Ashland timeout between the first and second quarter, 90% of his talk was all defense. Talked about how to take care of Ellis when he got open at the end of the first quarter on that screen and roll. And Atkins, his Thanks, first Mike. free throw is on the way and good. 75.8% on the year. You had a feeling, uh, Greg, that Coach Bonner would not be happy no. with the way they handled that screen and roll. And the second one up, this one is good as well. Atkins with his first two of the evening here on free throws. 6-16 left to go, it's a one point game. 18-17, Boyd County, second quarter. Martin with the basketball. Gives to Smith, who's also into the ball game for the Lions. Smith goes to Hicks. Hicks will drive, kicks to Spurlock out between the circles. He'll drive around Carter, stops, gives it up to Ellis, who lays it up and in. And we've got a, what do we have? A 30, is it a timeout? Boyd called, it looks like it will be a full. A full? Well, wait a minute. It'll be a 30. Okay. Uh, an affordable automotive 30 second timeout. And uh, we have, uh, see that's the first of the evening, isn't it? It is. So it's a 20 to 17 ball game. And I'll tell you what, things are getting a little bit chippy here tonight. Yeah, but I mean, you expected these two, you know, that's the yes. thing is we talk about this. Back in our day, these teams, your players wouldn't talk to each other off yes. the court. I saw these guys walking around at the girls game the other night. You had Red Holbrook and Tyson Lalone hanging out. And yes. Cole Hicks and Jacob were, were intermingling. But when they get between the lines, that's when, that's when the competitive nature starts yep. up. And Mike, uh, what did you, you hear in the Boyd County huddle? Well, thanks to the Boyd County band, I couldn't hear a whole lot with them being <laughs> out there on the court. I did hear a little bit of Coach Anderson talking about the defense there, so uh, I'm sure he's not as pleased with Boyd County having that double-digit lead in the first quarter, and now it's back to a three-point game. Back to you guys. Jennings with the basketball. Pass stolen away by Ellis. He's going the other way with it. Slams it home. <laughs> Jason Ellison double figures with 10 with the emphatic slam, 22-17. Davis back into the ball game for Ashland with the basketball. Lalonde went back out. Down on the block, it goes to Freeze. He's double teamed, gets back to Davis here left side. Trying to clear it out, it looked like. He'll drive baseline, gives it to Freeze. Backside misses, but tips it up and in. Nice job, Nate Freeze, staying mm -hmm. with that one. 22-19, 5 or make that five minutes left to go now in the half. Hicks with it. Goes right side, Spurlock left open for a three, way off the mark. Freeze with the rebound to Carter. Into the front court. Ashland a chance to tie here with the three-point goal. Carter to freeze back to Carter. Hicks is on him. He'll drive down the middle of the paint, lay it up, left hand, oh, no good. It. You don't rebound, see him miss many of those. Fought for bodies on the floor, ball on the floor. Freeze with it, gives it to Carter, lays it up and in. Good hustle for both teams there. Eight points now for Carter. 22-21, a one-point game. Boyd County on top, Ellis with it. And away from the ball, Jennings is going to pick up a foul as he ran over Drew Smith on the screen. Jennings can't have those mistakes in this game. He is critical to Ashland's success as he is the one who can keep up with Spurlock. 
uh, best suited to keep up with Spurlock. If he's out, that moves Xander Carter onto Spurlock, which takes a lot of his energy away from the offensive end. Holbrook back in, and Spurlock out for Boyd County. The Lions to trigger it in underneath their own basket. Bounced in now to Ellis. Gets in the paint, throws it out now. Left side to Drew Smith. He'll bring it out front, pick his dribble up to Martin. Back to Smith. He's left open for three. Good. Boyd County, their first points off the bench tonight. Gives them a four-point lead, 25-21. Under four left to go now in the half. Jennings with the basketball, moves to his left, gives it up to Freeze, wide open three. It's off the mark. Ellis with the rebound. Gives up to Hicks, crosses the 10-second line. Drives, double-teamed, and we got a foul. Is that Adkins or Freeze? I think that's Adkins, it is. Atkins picks up his first. Spurlock in, Taylor back in. Hicks out for Boyd County and Martin out for Boyd County. The Lions will trigger it in underneath their own basket to the right side. They have a four low set here for a cross. 3.43 left to go in the half. Into Ellis, out front to Smith. Moves left, goes up with the left hand good. Nice finish. Tell you what, that was pretty good defense. Yeah, but he, uh, Smith absorbed the contact, used the contact to create space to get the shot off. Freeze with the basketball left side, hands it to Jennings. He'll step back, put up a three. It's no good. Rebound run down in the corner, though, by Freeze. That long rebound by Freeze. Great job getting out in the corner and getting it. Carter with the basketball now. Holbrook is on him. Both teams have been man-to-man the whole way. Drives left of the lane, puts up a shot. No good. Holbrook with the rebound. Bounces it and off of the legs of Smith and out of bounds. He was trying to get it to Ellis. Well, they're going to, one official says it's going to Boyd County. Well, they're giving it back to Boyd County. All right. I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I thought it went off of Smith. I did too, but I'll uh, take it. it is what it is. Let's play basketball. Smith throws it in the backcourt now to Taylor. Three minutes left to go in the half, 27-21, Boyd County. Smith with it now, back it goes to Taylor. Little fade screen now, left side to Smith. Out front it goes to Taylor, picked up by Davis, moves to his left, goes around Davis, lays nice left, left hand and good. That's four yeah. for Taylor now, 29-21. Ashland seems to be invi- inviting the downhill drive, and they've got to find a way to keep that offensive player in front of them and turn them. Carter with the basketball, guarded by Holbrook. Gets the screen, moves to his left. The Lions switch the screen. Ellis on him now. He'll drive. He's cut off on the block out front. It goes now to Davis. Spurlock on Davis. Gets the screen, moves to his left. Now gives it up on a pick and roll, and Freeze lays it up and in. Freeze was surprised to be that open, Greg. Well, they blitzed the screen. Yeah. They, after the screen, they blitzed it and left Freeze open. 29-23, under two minutes left to go in the half now. Ellis bounce pass down to Smith. Reverse lap, knocked loose. Ball's on the floor. Taylor has it to Spurlock. Straight away three, no good. Freeze with the rebound to Carter. Down to a minute 44 left to go. Boyd County up by six here in the second quarter. Carter with it, gets to the foul line, steps back, puts up a jumper, it's off the mark. Spurlock will get it and head the other way. Gets to the left block, lays it up, no good. Freeze with the rebound, and we got a foul away from the ball. I don't know who it's going to be on. They're going to call that on Freeze? Freeze had the ball. Was it on Freeze? That's what I, 33. All right. Freeze picks up his first. If anything, I've seen it on either Jennings or Spurlock. Right. Lions to trigger it in again from underneath their own basket. A minute 27 left to go in the half. Gets it into Spur. Now it goes out front to Holbrook. Cut off at the foul line. Back door goes to Spurlock. Jennings knocks it loose and out of bounds. I'll tell you, these officials have had just about enough from the players mouthing yeah. at them. And it's going to result in a technical at some point. And it's been both ways. Yeah. Hicks to trigger it in from the right of the basket again. He looks, looks, mm. gets a back door to Martin who lays it up and in. He was wide open. 
Martin checked in a moment ago. 31-23 a minute, eight left to go in the half. Jennings with the basketball. Boyd County now in a 1-2-2 point drop here. Switch it over to the zone for the first time tonight. Davis back out, it goes to Carter, to Jennings. He'll drive, has it knocked loose, gets it back. Gets to Davis, wide open three, no good. Carter with the put back. The other way, Martin with it. In the corner, 38 seconds. Boyd County backs it out with the 31-25 lead. If they get the last shot of the half, they'll get it to start the second half as well. Hicks with it now, Ryan Hash down to 25 seconds. And now he'll bring it out and give it to Taylor on the handoff. Davis is on him. He'll move to his left. Now back to his right to Hicks with 12. What's Carter's on Hicks. Screen the screener here maybe with Spurlock. Double team, gets it to Spurlock in the corner three. It's no good. Freeze with the rebound. Two, one, fires from about midcourt. No good. And that's where the half will end. 31-25, Boyd County. You're watching the Clark's Puppet Shop Boys 64th District Basketball Tournament. Back after this on My Town TV. Oh, we're whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. This is Logan Fraley Wallace with Executive Properties in Ashland, Kentucky. If you're looking to buy or sell, give me a call. I would love to be your realtor. Logan Fraley Wallace with Executive Properties. Buy your side in every move. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. You may never make it to the big race or hear the crowd go wild, but that doesn't mean that you're not an everyday athlete. You've mastered the toddler scramble, cornered the clean lift, and crossed the line in the sprint. At King's Daughters, we keep you in the race with world-class orthopedics care, backed by our team of experts, so you can make the big play when it counts the most. When you're in the game, have a great team behind you. Orthopedics at UK King's Daughters. And we're back with the Service Master Restore Halftime Show. Service Master Restore, commercial and residential restoration services. Guiding you from crisis to resolution. Call Service Master Restore. And right now, Ashland in crisis management at the half as they haven't been able to really get anything going offensively. And they find themselves in a six point hole at the half, down 31 25. Your scores for Ashland. Unsurprisingly, they were led by Xander Carter, who's not having a great shooting night, but he went four of nine from the four, 0 of one from three, hit two out of three free throws, and has five rebounds so far to go along with. Five, I'm sorry, three turnovers. Behind him, Braxton Jennings with seven points, three of six shooting, one, uh, two of one, uh, one of two rather from the three point line, an assist and a turnover, and one steal. And it goes down to Nate Freeze with four points, two of six from the four, O oh of three from three, and six boards. And then Asher Atkins and Tyson Lalone with two apiece for the Boyd County Lions who are winning this 64th district championship. It was Jason Ellis who led the way in the first half with 10 points, five of six from the floor. Can't get much more efficient than that with five rebounds. 
Jacob Spurlock, who scored the first seven points of the game for Boyd County, is stuck on seven. He went three of 11 from the floor, one of seven from three, but was able to pull down eight rebounds in the first half. From there, it is uh, Griffin Taylor chipped in four points, two of five from the floor. Smith had five points, two of two from the floor, one of one from the free throw line. Alex Martin with two points. And I'm sorry I missed Cole Hicks, who had three points, a three-pointer early in the first half from the far corner. And that's where we are at half with the Boyd County Lions ahead of the, the Ashland Tomcats. It's the Service Master Restore halftime show. We'll be right back right after this. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. owned and operated for three generations. We sell cars, do body work and repair. We've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on. And we have all kinds of great parts and accessories. Stop by and see us sometime here at Jim and Joe's. Hey everyone, my name is Deandra and I'm the Business Development Officer here in Moorhead. We understand that each customer is unique and we're here to tailor solutions that elevate your financial journey. We're excited to cheer on the Round County Vikings this season and look forward to winning districts this year. Go Vikings! And we're back with the Service Master Restore Halftime Show live from the Clark's Puppet Shop 64th District Championship here on My Town TV. Service Master Restore commercial and residential restoration services guiding you from crisis to resolution call service master restore and we are about three minutes away from tipping things off here in the second half the Boyd County Lions out in front for the entire game so far leading 31 25 and we're we will hopefully have time to throw to Tom Holbrook who is waiting outside the Boyd County locker room for coach Randy Anderson but this game at times here in the first half, getting a little chippy. The officials have had to talk to both benches and several players out on the floor, and we hope both teams will come out of the locker room ready to compete here in the second half yeah. and show that same fire. So we want to see is fire. What we don't want to see is showboating one way or another. But, you know, Ashland, as I mentioned before the game, they're going to have to show some toughness uh, here in the second half because Boyd County really just pushing them around at times in the first half. We're gonna well, take but if you remember, last time they played, Ashland came out third quarter mm -hmm. and really took control. Let's go ahead and take our last break. You are watching the Clark's Puppet Shop 64th District Tournament here on My Town TV. Your home is more than just four walls. It's your security. Leaks, fires, and floods, they come at the most inconvenient times. Now you have to scramble to deal with your insurance company. We're available 24-7 to assist you. Let's give your security back. Call Service Master Fire and Water Restoration. The 
Ashland Area YMCA is where families and friends come to stay active and have fun. We offer a wide range of activities and classes, a safe and welcoming environment for kids. We also provide tutoring for middle and high school students. Follow us on social media at the Ashland Area YMCA. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. Affordable Automotive in Ashland still has the lowest prices on all cars, trucks, and SUVs around. Here at Affordable Automotive of Ashland, we stack them neat and we sell them cheap. Come see Laid Back Larry at Affordable Automotive today. You never know what you'll find at the library. Sure, we've got books, but we've all... And let's go to Tom Holbrook, who's caught up with Coach Randy Anderson. Tom? Coach, you've got a six-point lead here at halftime. What do you have to do here in the second half to put this thing away? we got to do a better job on their offensive boards. We gave about eight points up there. I thought defensively our talk was good. Defensive transition was good. Offensively, just need to slow down, let our screens develop. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you, Tom. We appreciate you catching up with Coach Anderson. And here we go. 16 minutes from a championship here at Summit Gymnasium. I'll yep. pass it back over to Greg to bring us in for the second half. You know, this is big, but this still isn't the one you want. Right, right. You know, you know what I'm saying. This is big for seating purposes, yep. but you look at Ashland last year. They lost here in the district championship and out of the loser's bracket ended up winning the 16th region and going on to the, to the Sweet 16. So... It can be done, and again, both teams, you would prefer to be in the winner's bracket, but both teams capable of winning their first two games out of either side. Boyd County with the basketball, both teams with their starters back in, a pick and roll to start it. Uh, Holbrook with it now, down in the corner left side. Out front it goes to Hicks. Hicks moves right, hands it off to Taylor out front. Taylor shake and bake, loses it, gets it back. Has to throw it out near the timeline. Hicks retrieves it. Hicks, here comes the double team. Goes down to Taylor on the right side on the block. It goes to Ellis. <clears throat> Ellis moves, hits Spurlock, but take it away by Good Jennings. by Jennings. Jennings the other way to Carter. Back to Jennings. Well, he's got to be ready to pull that. Between his legs, step back. Three on the way, in and out. Holbrook with the rebound. He'll run it the other way. Holbrook goes around Jennings, and we've got a foul. And so Spurlock will go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Carter picks up his second foul. Spurlock on the season, 76.8%. He's not scored since the first quarter. Mm -hmm. First one on the way, still hasn't scored since the first. In and out. I think he took a pretty hard shot on the nose there. He's checking for blood. He seems to be okay. It's been a tough ball game, to say uh -huh. the least. He hits the second when he's got eight now. It's a 32-25 Boyd County lead. And you know, sometimes for a shooter to get hot, they just need to see the ball yes. go through the net. You are correct about that. He struggled from three land in the first half. Mm -hmm. One of seven. But that one was a big one from yep. 30. Yeah, it was. Carter with it to Atkins to freeze. Freeze drives back out front to Carter now. And he'll take it in the lane, lay it up and in. Carter with a dozen, and it's a back to a five-point ball game, 32-27. Thinks the pace starting to slow down mm. a little bit now. Spurlock with it, drives baseline, and Carter blocks his shot out of bounds. Boyd County will get it back in from underneath their own basket. And Taylor will throw it in. Yeah, I look nope. for Boyd oh. County to eventually run that ball screen to, to Spurlock's side because that helped defenders coming from the strong side. That's going to leave Spurlock open for the three. Spurlock open for the three on the inbounds play, misses it. Ashland with the rebound the other way. Jennings drives and a mm. charging foul on Jennings. Cole Hicks stepped in and took the hit. That's two on Braxton. 
6.15 left to go third quarter now. 32-27, Boyd County leads it. Here with the Clarks Pump and Shop 64th District Boys Basketball Tournament in the championship game. Taylor gives it up to Holbrook, left hash mark. Holbrook looks, he finds Taylor wide open under the basket for the layup. Great cut, even better look by Holbrook. 34-27 now, Boyd County. Under six minutes left to go in the third. Atkins with the basketball. Boyd County back in that man-to-man. Hicks steals the pass, goes the other way, lays it up and in. Hicks just his fifth point of the game, 36-27. Boyd County stretches the lead out to nine now. Carter with the basketball, left side. Moves out front, goes between his legs. Flips it to Jennings over on the left wing. Ellis is on Jennings. Jennings keeps his dribble alive here. Now he'll drive, gets past Ellis, layup short, rebound, tipped into the hands of Freeze, out front to Carter, three on the way. No good, Spurlock with his at least ninth rebound of the Mm -hmm. game. Spurlock goes the other way, Davis is on him, pulls up from 15 and gets the friendly roll. 38-27, 38-27, Boyd County with their largest lead of the evening. Ashland wants a timeout. It's a full timeout. Back after this on the Clark's Pump and Shop 64th District Basketball Tournament on MyTown TV. A picture can't be replaced, but your home can. Leaks, fires, or floods. None of us are ever prepared. The last thing you want to do is deal with your insurance company. Trust the pros in yellow. We'll deal directly with them to give you peace to know your home will be restored. Service Master Fire and Water Restoration. And we're back with the Clarks Pump and Shop, 64th District Championship. Mike, you were peeking in on the Ashland huddle. What did Coach Bonner have to say? Yeah, he was very encouraging to his team and talked a little bit about the offensive set we're going to see here. Look for Braxton Jennings on the left wing, and then it come out top to Carter. Braxton Jennings cutting in as long as the other wing, cutting in off of the free throw line extended and trying to get an open three either at the top of the key or on the opposite wing. All right, let's see if it they play it out like Mike just – described it. Boyd County in that point drop again. Jennings is going to try a three from the corner. No good. Taylor with the rebound. Freeze with the foul. And that was a frustration foul by Freeze. Things just not going Ashland's way. His and you second. can see them getting frustrated out there. And Lalone checks back in. Jennings will go out for Ashland. 440 left to go third quarter. Boyd County's opened up this quarter with a 7-2 run. Now Ashland dropping back in a zone of their own, a 2-3. Hicks with the basketball out front to Holbrook, back to Hicks right side. Hicks dribbles it out and gives it to Spurlock. Back to Hicks, to Holbrook. He's left open, he'll fire for three short. Rebound tipped out, Ellis tips it to himself, now gives to Holbrook. That's the danger of playing a zone, you give up offensive rebounds. Carter picks the pass off though, gives the freeze back to Carter. Four and change left to go third quarter. 11-point Boyd County lead at 38-27. Boyd County still in that 3-2 zone here. To Davis, back to Carter, to Lalone. Carter again with it, top of the key. To Davis, down in the corner to Atkins. Atkins dribbles it, now gives it to Davis, out near the timeline. To Carter, left side, drives baseline, lays it up, blocked by Ellis. Rebound goes to... Taylor to ahead to Holbrook down in the corner. Out front it goes to Spurlock. A three look, no good. Rebound goes to Adkins. Picks his dribble up. Pitches the head though to Carter to freeze in the corner. Back to Carter. Carter drives, cut off. Ends up in the hands of Lalone in the corner and he'll hit for three. Yeah, Ashland needs Lalone to heat up in a bad way as they're struggling to score here. Well, he's not been on the floor very much no. tonight. Taylor with it. 38-30 now, Spurlock looks at that zone, goes to Holbrook, now it goes in the corner to Hicks, 
gives it up to Ellis, misses the layup. Holbrook offensive rebound, puts it up, no good. Mm, he might have been fouled on that putback. <laughs> rebound to Carter. Ahead to Freeze. Freeze drives, nice spin, kicks it far corner to Lalone. Three, no good. Tip, no good. Who's going to get it? Lalone has it. He'll drive in the paint, floater up. It's no good. Holbrook gets the rebound to Spurlock. Ahead it goes to Hicks down in the right corner. Watch the trail. Out front to Spur. Swings it now to Holbrook. Back to Spurlock. They're going to set things up against this 2-3 zone. 2.20 left to go in the third quarter. 38-30 Boyd County. Holbrook dribbles it out to the circle and directs traffic. He looks over at Coach Anderson. Now he's directing uh, traffic on the floor. Hicks now right side with it. Drives. Gives to Ellis in the short corner. One dribble up and in. Jason Ellis a dozen points now. Lalone with it, right corner. Out front it goes now to Freeze. Back to Lalone. He's left open for three. It's short. Holbrook claims another rebound. Holbrook will run the point here. Gets it into the front court. Gives it up to Spurlock. Bad pass into the hands of Freeze here. Freeze loses it but gets it back. Goes to Lalone, he'll fire for three again. This time it's in and out. Spurlock with the rebound. He throws it away at half court to Lalone. Lalone goes to freeze in the corner for three. No good. Backside rebound though. Carter muscles it up and in. He just willed that one in there, Greg. Terrible balance <laughs> off the wrong foot. Still able to find the, but the it basket. But all counts the same. Absolutely. 40-32 now is your score. Holbrook with it on the right side to Taylor out front. Now it goes to Hicks. Three, it's no good. Rebound goes to Adkins. Adkins ahead to Carter. He's fouled and he scores. Foul is on Hicks. Hicks doesn't make many mistakes, but that was one right there. Yep. If you're, you're going to commit the foul, you can't let him get the shot off. And Drew Smith in, and Red Holbrook out for Boyd County. It's a six-point ball game now, 56 seconds left to go in the third. Carter back to the line. Where he's two of three tonight. He sets, he fires, and he misses. Mm. Ellis with the rebound to Spurlock. Boyd County wants a 30-second timeout. This 30-second timeout is brought to you by Affordable Automotive of Ashland, your trusted partner for reliable, budget-friendly cars. So Boyd County, their second 30-second timeout of the game. They have three fulls left. Ashland has two fulls and two 30s left. Now, from the coaching standpoint, what do you think Coach Anderson sees there to call the timeout? This is a good timeout. This is what is typical Coach Anderson. He wants to control what happens out on the floor at all times. He is telling his boys exactly what he wants. If you can if you can get an open shot early, take it. If not, let's just run this down and get out of the quarter. And I think we have Mike Miller who was listening in on the huddle on the Boyd County side. Mike, what'd you hear? Yeah, they were just setting their offense against this Ashland zone and, and we look for some screens off of the wing to try to get an open shot or a dump down to the basket. And Ashland's going to come out in a 2-2-1 full court press for the first time tonight. Boy County with their press breaker. Taylor with it to Hicks, still in the backcourt. Now crosses the timeline. Ashland's going to pick up in a man-to-man now, it looks like. And they do. Taylor with the basketball, drives left of the lane, gives it to Smith. To Spurlock with a 90-mile-an-hour fastball off his chest, but Boy <laughs> County gets it back. Hicks with it down in the corner. He'll fire for three, no good. Freeze with the rebound. Into the front court with it. Ellis on him. Goes down in the corner to Davis who brings it out oh, to the wing. They've got a mismatch inside. They need That's to get That's what it they're to... looking for. Good help from Spurlock. Skip pass. Atkins three from the corner. No good. And a foul. I think Drew Smith's going to be called on that. Trying to block Xander Carter mm-hmm. out. Size differential there hurting. Yeah. Smith picks up his first. Xander Carter, you can tell, trying to take control of the game for Ashland. 11.9 seconds left to go in the third quarter. He gets the inbounds pass, does Carter on the right side. Down to seven, gets in the paint, puts it up, no good, gets his own rebound, back up and in this time with two seconds left, thrown in. Davis steals it, no shot after that, and that is where that the quarter will end. 40-36, Boyd County on top here in the Clark's Pumping Shop, 60. 60- 
fourth district basketball tournament. Back after this on My Town TV. it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home. No one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. Back with the Clark's Puppet Shop 64th District Championship. We're eight minutes away from crowning a champion. Mike, you were listening to the Ashland Huddle. What do you got? Yeah, Coach Bonner's super positive about his team. Was talking about their resiliency. They made they uh, weathered that run from Boyd County and then did a good job getting back in this ball game. Only down four to start this uh, fourth quarter. Look for a high ball screen up around the free throw line, maybe with a dive to the basket or open three in the corner off of that screen action. Davis with the basketball to Freeze. Freeze looks, throws it out front to Atkins. He'll drive, runs over top of Taylor, and we've got a blocking foul on Taylor. Boy, it took him a while to make that call. Yep. <laughs> It was the right call, though. Wasn't it? He didn't beat him to the spot. No. Ashland to throw it in underneath their own basket. Davis looks, gets it into Carter, down in the right corner. He'll dribble it out. Now it goes to his right, goes baseline, goes up and scores. Oh, just, That's again, 20 just for Carter. Trying to will his team over the top here. Well, he's got him back to within two. 7.34 left to go in the ball game. Ashland matching up man-to-man -man again. Hicks with the basketball right hash mark to Smith out front. Well, not look, well yeah, it's a man-to-man. -man. Hicks with it to Taylor. Drives. He's cut off by Lalone. And now back to Hicks out here on the left hash mark in front of us. Moves to his right. Now back to his left. In the corner to Taylor. Drives baseline. Reverse layup, no good. Carter with the rebound, a chance to tie or take the lead. Ashland for the first time tonight. If they hit a three, it'll be the lead. Down in the corner. Well, now they got it on the block to freeze. Nice move, reverse layup, good, and he's fouled. Ashland's tied this up. Great recognition there by Carter to see that Freeze had a mismatch inside. He cleared everybody out and went to the big fella. Jennings in for Ashland, alone out. Holbrook in for Boyd County. And Smith out. Who was that foul on? Was that on uh, Taylor? That was on, uh, was it Taylor? Or yep, that's okay. his third. Freeze to the line. A chance three-point play the old-fashioned way. And it's good. Ashland with their first lead of the evening at 41-40. They scored the first five of the quarter here to lead it off in the fourth. Taylor into the front court for Boyd County. Gets it to Hicks. Drives baseline. Tries to give it up, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Maroon Jersey. Boy County will get it back underneath their own basket. You know, Ashland just kept hanging around and hanging around, and now the opportunity, they have the lead. Thrown in now to Ellis. Ellis looks, gets it to Spurlock. One dribble, reverse layup, nice good. Nice finish. Full, Full timeout. And we'll step out on the Clark's Pump and Shop 64th District Basketball Tournament. Back after this on My Town TV.
42-41. The Boyd County leads Ashland, and we're going to go to Mike Miller over behind the Boyd County bench. Yeah, Greg, uh, Coach Anderson, uh, first part of that timeout was defense and talking about they've got to be able to help on Carter and not give him those angles to the basket where he's driving to the basket. On the offensive end, he was talking about letting the screener make that screen. Don't go too quick. Let that screener make that screen so you can attack the basket. Back to you guys. Tell you what, this one's going down to the final second as well. Ashland with the basketball, six and a half left to go in the ball game. 42-41, Boyd County, Lions in a man-to-man here. Carter with it now left side, moves to his right, gets in the paint, kicks it out to Davis on the wing right side. He'll back it out, now to Jennings over on the left hash mark. Holbrook laying back on him now to Atkins on the wing. Picks up his dribble, out top of the key now to Freeze. Back he goes to Davis, left side. Drives cut off to Adkins now. Adkins top of the key, Ooh, steps in. And, on yep, the roll. and gives it back to Davis, out to Carter. Holbrook is on him, down to 5.52 left to go in the game. Carter moves right, gets to the right of the lane, gets pushed out. Now he'll go back in the lane, stops, looks, and kicks out to Jennings. Spurlock on Jennings here. Down on the block, it goes now to Freeze. He gets in, spins, shoots, it's no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds, last touched by Xander Carter. I'll tell you what, he's trying to put this team on his back, he though. He sure is. There's a reason he's going to Liberty. It was a nice move by Freeze, just couldn't get the finish. And you know, Every possession means so much at this point in the ball game. And that's what Coach Bonner talked about at the beginning of the uh-huh. game. Taylor with the basketball for Boyd County. Gets to the foul line, cut off by Davis, pitches it to Hicks. Hicks now top of the key with it, backs it out near the circle, now goes right, gets to the block, puts it up, no good. Rebound goes to Adkins. Adkins with it into the front court. He's going to have a wide open lane, lays it up and in. And nobody picked him up. Holbrook thought Hicks was there. Hicks thought Holbrook was there. Nobody stopped him. Nobody stopped the ball. Ashland back up, 43-42, 4.50 left to go in the ball game now. Taylor with it to Spurlock, guarded by Carter. He drives, gets in the paint, dotted line, spins, Woo! left hand off the glass and good. 14, Spurlock, Boyd County back up one. Carter with the basketball, left wing. 44-43, Boyd County, four and a half left to go in the 64th District Championship game. Carter straight away three, no good. Long rebound though, goes to Jennings, kicks it in the corner to Adkins. His pass knocked loose, bodies on the floor, tied up. It'll be Boyd County basketball. Jennings and Ellis on the floor in a little scrum after the basketball. Nice to see both teams getting on the floor. I hope everything's dried up there. Kenny Kegley, one of the officials, going to come out here and make sure he wants a towel. So we got 418 left to go here in the Clark's Pump and Shop 64th District Basketball Tournament. The boys' side of things. Ashland won the girls' uh, 64th District Tournament last night with a win over Boyd County. What a great crowd here tonight, Greg. Yes. The, yeah, both bands here. The environment's fantastic. The student sections are full for both teams and and uh, a lot of friends and families and uh, parents in the stands. It's just a great basketball environment here at Summit Gymnasium tonight for the 64th District Championship. And we're ready to play here. Taylor will walk it up the floor for Boyd County. Down to 4-10 left to go in the ball game. Now gives it up to Ellis with a bounce on the right side. Ellis drives, cut off, drives again, spins in the paint, scoops, no good. Freeze with the rebound. Martin checked into the game on that last whistle as well for Boyd County. Gets it to Davis in the corner. Three is no good. Spurlock with the rebound. Boyd County with a three on two. Spurlock foul line jumper good. In transition, Spurlock now with 16. Still a one position uh, possession game, 46-43, 3.40 left to go now in the contest. Davis with the basketball, Hicks is on him, gives it up to Freeze. Out between the circles, Ryan Bonner wants a 30-second timeout. Brought to you by Affordable Automotive of Ashland, your trusted partner for reliable, budget-friendly cars. Ashland, though, they still have three timeouts left, two of them full, one of them a 30. Boy County with only two left. And both of those are the full variety. 3.33 left to go in the game. 
46-43. And, uh, you know, Ashland's wanting to get a good shot here. Yeah, I think that's what why Ryan Bonner called the timeout. He wants to get the shot they want, not yep. the shot the Boyd County will give him. And that's what he's impressing to his team right now. Ryan, uh, Mike Miller peeking in there trying to listen to what Coach Bonner has to say right now. Mike, what's going on in the huddle? Well, Coach Bonner is uh, setting a set play out of this timeout, coming out of bounds. Uh, unfortunately, Coach Bonner, with his voice not as loud, is a little difficult to hear. But we're looking to have uh, a player about at the free throw line, one at the baseline, coming out of this out of bounds and trying to get either a kick to the corner maybe for an open three or uh, action going to the basket off of the screen. Davis with the basketball. Hicks is on him out here near the right hash mark. Gives it up now to Adkins. He'll drive baseline, double team to freeze. He'll get in the paint, kicks it opposite corner to Jennings. Three good. Braxton Jennings with his first points since the first quarter. 46-46 is your score. 3.05 left to go in the ball game. Taylor with the basketball. Ashland man-to-man -man as well. Martin with it now out top. Picks his dribble up. Gets it to Spurlock, gets a screen. Great screen Foul line Martin. jumper, no good. Spurlock gets it and puts it up and in on the tip. That was all Alex Martin setting that screen that opened up Spurlock for the shot and gave him room to rebound. Carter with the basketball, Spurlock on him. Down to 240 left to go now. Two point Boy County lead. He gets a screen from Freeze, keeps his dribble alive. Ellis is on him now. He'll drive, put it up and in, and we're tied again. That's what I talked about before the game. Carter starting to use his use the contact now. He used to shy away from it, but now he's using it to create space. 48-48, 2.20 left to go in the ball game. Taylor with it, gives it up now to Martin. Top of the key, picks his dribble up, goes to Hicks, right side, bodies flying on the floor here as we're down to 2.10. Ellis's knee braces come loose, now he'll get it back on. Hicks with the basketball out near the circle. Moves right, gives to Taylor. Taylor drives and he Ooh, walks with the basketball. So Two minutes even left to go. Ashland a chance to take the lead here. 48-48. You can tell it's postseason because mm -hmm. the scores are still in the 40s. These That's two right. Teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, regular season, yep. we're in the 80s. Yes. Davis with the basketball. Looks at that point drop zone by Boyd County again. Carter has it now. Back to Davis. Over on the left side in the corner it goes now to Adkins. Back to Carter. Back to Adkins. He'll drive baseline. Tries to throw it opposite corner. Knocked out of bounds by Ellis. So Ashland will get it back. A minute 36 left to go now. 48-48 your score. If you're Ashland, it's nothing but a layup at this point. Yep. You don't want to settle for anything less. Well, and Ashland wants a timeout. They want a full timeout. So, a minute 36 left to go in the 64th District Basketball Championship. Ashland and Boyd County nodded up at 48. Back after this on My Town TV. This is Logan Fraley Wallace with Executive Properties in Ashland, Kentucky. If you're looking to buy or sell, give me a call. I would love to be your realtor. Logan Fraley Wallace with Executive Properties. Buy your side in every move. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Mike, what do you got behind the Boyd County bench? Yeah, Coach Anderson was very encouraging in that timeout, giving his team some encouraging words. He said, if Ashland happens to score down on this end, we need to take it and get down the court quickly to try to get an open shot. Wants them to defend well and be tough off the boards. Back to you guys. Boyd County looks like they're going to defend, uh, defend this inbounds play with the man-to-man -man here. Davis looks, looks. And a five-second call or a timeout. Timeout. Timeout Ashland here. Good defense by uh, Boyd County forcing the timeout. 30. 30, so. 30. 
So this 30-second timeout brought to you by Affordable Automotive of Ashland, your trusted partner for reliable, budget-friendly cars. It's Affordable Automotive of Ashland. And right now it is a chess match between two coaches who have won this region before. Randy Anderson, of course, had a, a, a long run of, of district and, and regional championships. And then Ryan Bonner, his freshman campaign last year, lost in the district won the 16th region, yep. but two masters right there on the sidelines coaching their teams. So Coach. Ashland will have to trigger it in again from their own baseline. And let's see, Cam Davis to do so. A different alignment this time for Ashland to throw it in. Davis looks, looks, still looks, goes opposite corner to Atkins. Now up front it goes to Freeze, gives it up to Carter. Down to a minute and a half left to go. Martin's on Carter, gets a screen, moves right. Now he's matched up with Jason Ellis. He'll go, gets it in the paint, kicks it out to Davis, down to a minute 20. Jennings with the ball now, right hash mark. Moves to his left, cut off the foul line, backs it back out. Down now to about a minute 10 left to go. Ashland content to get a good shot here. And I'm sure that's exactly what Coach Bonner said. Don't settle for anything but a layup in this situation. Freeze with it out front, down under a minute now. Back door, it goes to Carter. His shot's blocked. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Ashland. And Boyd County will get it back. 55 seconds left to go. Boyd County with two timeouts left. Ashland with one here. Let's see if Coach Anderson rolls the dice. Taylor's just going to walk it into the front court here. Better get across the timeline as he does. Play. Down to 44. Davis is on him. Ashland matching up man to man. Taylor to his left, gives to Martin. Martin out front, now to Hicks. Down to 30. Hicks still with the basketball. Atkins on him. 25 seconds left to go in the ball game. It's tied up here. 64th district championship is on the line. Gives it up now to Spurlock and a foul on Carter with 18.9 seconds left. Not a bad foul. No, it's only the foul. first foul of the quarter You've got for plenty Ashland. to give. Boyd County will throw it in from over to the near side of their bench. Cole Hicks will do so. He'll throw it all the way in the backcourt to Taylor. Down to 15. Taylor with it into the front court. Boyd County wants a timeout with 12 seconds left to go. Good time Let's just keep there. it right here. Sure, sure. Okay, 12.6 seconds left to go, 48-48. We may be looking at free basketball again. We might be, but what I think is going to happen here, what I think Coach Anderson is going to do, if Ashland comes back out in a man, which they're likely going to yes. do, you're going to see that high ball screen, most likely with Hicks and Ellis putting Spurlock on the wing on the strong side because that help has been coming from the strong side and then closing back out. Right. If that help doesn't come, you know, you've got two players on the opposite side. You're going to get some exchange action to occupy those defenders. That help doesn't come. You've got Ellis on the roll. If it does come, you've got Spurlock in the corner. And if you get beat, if you're Ashland, you foul. Absolutely, you I foul. I mean, you know, it, this 12 seconds is going to going to be an eternity mm -hmm. here. Yeah, the uh, yeah, definitely their friend. The the foul count right now. Yep. They have they have two that they can give in the next 12 seconds. And we got Mike over there behind the Boyd County bench. Yeah, guys, look for uh, Griffin Taylor's going to bring the ball up on the point. Cole Hicks in the left corner. Spurlock on the same side about the free throw line. Griffin Taylor's going to go to the right side off the right wing off to Jason Ellis. Griffin Taylor's going to – or Cole Hicks is going to come around, dive to the basket. If not, Taylor's going to come out, set the screen for Spurlock to try to get him open, and then a curl out back to the top maybe for a three. Back to you guys. One timeout left for each team. Boyd Cade to throw it in. Over on the far sideline, they throw it in the backcourt to Taylor. Davis is going to foul him with 10.9. Davis just his first or second against Ashland here. I don't like the timing of that foul. You no, could have you, let another three or four seconds yep. run off the clock. Now Boyd County will have to throw it in from the backcourt side. They do so to Taylor. We're down to eight seconds left. And fouled again by Davis. With 6.8 left, that's three fouls now. 
So you still got another foul to give here. Coach Anderson has a timeout to use. Yep. And Hicks will trigger it in. Here we go. And we're going to have a timeout. It's a full timeout. I don't know who caught it, though. It was Coach Anderson. Okay, we'll keep it here again. Boyd County has called all their timeouts now. 48-48, <laughs> 6.8 seconds left to go in the ball game. Red Holbrook goes and checks in for the Lions. The Clarks Pump and Chop 64th District Boys Basketball Tournament. This one has not disappointed either. No, it hasn't. I mean, I don't think the fans, the paid attendance tonight, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty near capacity. But yep. they couldn't have asked for anything more than this situation. A tie game with 6.8 seconds left. Is Ashland's defense tough enough to hold Ashland, uh, hold Boyd County and force overtime? Or is that potent Boyd County offense just too much? And, Will they get the final basket and walk out here with their second straight district championship? Well, but before that, you got to get it in bounds with no timeouts left. That's right. So, and you're probably going to throw it into the backcourt. Ashland looks to be going on the uh, Boyd County offensive side here, but we'll see if they just match up and walk it out. Mike, what do you got? Yeah, look for a box set. Griffin Taylor down at the bottom. Going to set a screen for Spurlock coming to the other side. Then Spurlock may roll to the top. Cole Hicks is also going to get a screen from Spurlock as they come out and then maybe be open on the other side for a three. Holbrook gets it in now to Spurlock, Spurlock, down to five, and he's fouled with four and a half left by Asher Adkins. Next foul gets you into the double bonus. Yeah, I don't, that's what I, I don't like that. I, I think I would have tried to roll the dice well, there. You're giving them some time to work here. Yeah. Holbrook to trigger it in near the Boyd County bench. Looking, looking, Screen still screener. looking. Gets it into Ellis. Ellis with it Spurlock. to Spurlock with three seconds left. A three, no good. Jennings with the rebound, three-quarter court shot, no good. We're headed to overtime. 48-48. <laughs> Back after this on the Clark's Pump and Shop 64th District <laughs> Tournament on My Town TV. it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home. No one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. Boy, Kenny Ashland headed to overtime. Mike, behind the Ashland bench, what do you got for us? Yeah, Coach Barner very pleased with his team. He said they are really guarding their butts off here tonight. Very pleased with the defensive end. Uh, of it and gave them a couple of sets to run offensively what they're going to go with. We're really pleased with their defensive uh, intensity and wants them to keep that up for the next four minutes. Back to you guys. And we'll jump it up for the second time again tonight. Ellis for Boyd County and uh, Carter for Ashland. Ashland wins this tip. Jennings with the basketball. Both teams with their original starters in. Carter with the basketball. Down on the left side, now Carter, goes to Jennings. Carter and Spurlock both on a double-double now. Carter with 22 and 10, Spurlock with 18 and 13. Atkins with the basketball, gives it up to Carter left wing, moves right, now goes to Jennings, back to Carter. Carter drives, stops, kicks it out to uh, Davis, to Atkins, back to Davis. Davis between the circles, Hicks is on him, gives it up now to Carter. Carter drives behind his back, goes to freeze. Moves right, may have. Carter with the basketball again, down to 315 left going overtime. Drives, cut off, gives it up. Jennings with it out front. Boy, just sitting back and absorbing that dribble drive every time, forcing Ashley to kick it back out. 
So Ashland's milked about a minute off the clock here in the overtime. Still 48-48, freeze with the basketball. Gives it up to Jennings. He'll drive, runner, in and out. Hicks with the rebound, freeze, knocks it out of bounds. Ashland with the possession of Mm -hmm. one minute, eight seconds left and came up empty. I don't think a falling to the baseline fadeaway was the shot Ashland was looking for there. Boyd County, their first possession of the overtime period. Taylor throws it. Jennings knocks it out of bounds. So the Lions will get it back here in front of us. Holbrook to throw it in. He'll throw it in the backcourt now to Taylor. Ash will match it up man-to-man. Spurlock with it to Holbrook. Brings it out front. Gives it now to Hicks. Atkins is on him. Moves, cut off, puts up a jumper anyway. No good. Freeze with the rebound to Adkins. 2.20 left to go now in overtime. 48-48. Davis with the basketball. Moves to his left. Cut off now. Hicks is on him. Now he'll go around him to break the five-second count to freeze to Carter. Carter fakes and goes back, pulls it back out. Now he'll drive in the paint, lays it up. Ellis blocks it. Out of bounds, and it'll go back to Ashland. Where they're letting him play on both ends. Two minutes left to go now in overtime. Neither team has scored. Davis to trigger it in under the Ashland basket. Gets to Carter in the near corner. Drives baseline. Goes opposite side. Jennings with it. Out front it goes to Adkins. Now it goes to Freeze for three. Good. Nate Freeze hits the three. Let's see if Boyd County will answer back here. 51-48, Ashland on top. Spurlock tries to answer and does. We're tied up at 51, a minute and a half left to go now in overtime. Davis is going to walk it up the floor now for Ashland. Hicks is on him. Carter with it now out in the circle. Puts it on the floor, down to a minute 15 left. Moves to his left. Now Ellis is on him. He's going to drive on Ellis, spins, throws it out to Freeze. Holbrook's on Freeze here. Had Davis on the back cut. Gives it up to Jennings, top of the key. Jennings drives, Holbrook is on him, and we've got a foul or a walk. They got the uh, the foul on Holbrook. Red Holbrook picks up the foul. It's his second. The third on Boyd County. We've got a timeout. Ashland, I'm assuming. I think, it, yeah, it was it was Coach Bonner. Okay, so they'll have uh, still have the extra timeout left as they had one going into this. We'll keep it here. 59.1 seconds left to go, 51-51 in overtime. And possessions have become limited here in the late going. They have, and if you had uh, a defensive battle on your 64th district championship bingo card, you're a winner, and you're probably the only one that did. I think most teams play the most, lottery tonight if you did. That's right. <laughs> most most fans in attendance tonight figured this was going to be a high scoring affair, but so impressed with both teams right now. I mean, it's punch counter punch on the defensive end for both teams, not giving an inch either way. I'm so impressed with Boyd County's defense on dribble drives right now. They're collapsing at the right times, bouncing back out on shooters, very balanced defensively. Ashland, a lot of the same on this end, although Jennings got hung up on that screen by Ellis over the top where he should have just trailed Spurlock. One mistake in this game could cost you a championship. So it will be Ashland basketball underneath their own basket to the right side of it. Cam Davis to throw it in. Davis looks, throws it out to Adkins, hands it off now to Carter, gets in the paint, lays it up good, and he's fouled by Griffin Taylor. That's four on Taylor. Xander Carter last year stood on the Ashland bench watching the Lions celebrate their 64th district championship with a look on his face like he had a mission in mind for next season. Can they hold on? Three-point play completed by Carter, 54-51 Ashland. Down to 45 seconds left to go in overtime. Boyd County with the basketball. Taylor out between the circles. Goes to Hicks down in the corner three. No good. 
Rebound, knocked out to Holbrook, back to Hitch, now to Spurlock. Out at the circle, a half minute left to go. Carter on him, he'll drive, shoot, and score! Timeout, Boyd County. Spurlock has had a fourth quarter in an overtime yes, he here, but Ashland still leads it 54 53, 23.6 left to go in the overtime. And uh, no need to go to breaks now, is there? No, we'll <laughs> stay right here. We're gonna, we have Mike Miller checking in on Boyd County's bench. We'll go to him in just a moment. He can give us some intel. But I mean, again, both teams just, it's punch, counter punch. You score, we score. You stop, we stop. Very balanced teams, and it's really just right at this point with 23 seconds left. Ashland with a one-point lead. Boyd County is going to pick up early and try to trap and try to shoot passing lanes and blitz. And if they can, get the turnover. They score. If they don't, I would think as soon as Ashland yep. gets across half court, they're going to foul. And if you're – And you're hoping you're, to get out of the hands of Carter. Yeah, well, if you're, if you're Boyd County, the ones you don't want to foul – uh, Asher Atkins at 76%. He leads the way. Everybody else in the 60s for Ashland. Probably, well, Cam Davis at 76% as well. Xander Carter, I don't know if I would want to foul him in this uh, situation. He, he's, uh, he's a big-time player. Uh -huh. You can throw the percentage out the door right now. Yeah, guys, coming out of the Boyd County huddle, it looks like they're going to try to trap right across the half-court line, and who they want to foul is either Braxton Jennings or Asher Atkins is the top two players they want to foul if they don't get a turnover and trap here at the half court line. Back to you. Interesting as Asher is a 76% free throw shooter, one of the best on the floor for Asher. And Davis is fouled by Hicks. That's not a bad foul by nope. Hicks right now. He puts Ashland on the line, gives, will give Boyd County the ball back with an opportunity to tie or score or, or win, depending on what, uh, what Davis does at the line. And the thing you got to do after that second free throw is make sure you box out. Uh-huh. So Davis to the line for the first time tonight. Cam on the year, 75.6%. First one on the way is no good. So Boyd will have a chance to win it. Ashland has no one in the lane right now. Davis' is second one up and good. It's a two-point ball game, 55-53. Ashland going to put on some token full-court pressure here. Boyd County out of timeouts. Down to 18 seconds as Taylor gets it into the front court. Moves to his right, cut off at the foul line, gives to Ellis. Ellis to Spurlock, three on the way, good! Eight seconds left to go. Davis with it, into the front court with four and a timeout. Timeout, Ashland. Four seconds left to go. 56-55, Boyd County. Wow, what a turn of events. Ashland will throw it in when we get out of this timeout from about half court. And you know they're going to draw something up to get it in the hands of Carter. And you know he's going to the rim. Yep. We couldn't have asked for a better nope. game, Coach. Nope, could not have. Mike is listening in to the Ashland huddle right now, and we'll check in with him as soon as they break. But Ashland with four seconds left, enough time. If they can get the ball in bounds, now it's, it's probably going to be a high screen for Xander to let him try to create off the dribble. I don't think they take a chance with anybody else, Mike. You're absolutely right, Chris. They're going to set up Xander Carter to come out and try to screen for him to get the ball at the top of the key. Uh, run Asher Atkins, I believe it was, to the far corner and let Xander Carter try to attack and put the game in Xander Carter's hands. Back to you guys. And here we go. All right, let's get nuts. Ashland to trigger it in front court side. Cam Davis will do so. Boyd County not going to guard the inboundser. And here we go. It goes into freeze to Carter out front with one second. Three on the way at the buzzer. No good. And that's how the game will end. Boyd County wins it 56-55 in overtime. Let's go ahead, step out, take a break. You've been watching the Clark's Pub and Shop 64th District Tournament on MyTown TV. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. 
Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology, to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. A picture can't be replaced, but your home can. Leaks, fires, or floods, none of us are ever prepared. The last thing you want to do is deal with your insurance company. Trust the pros in yellow. We'll deal directly with them to give you peace to know your home will be restored. Service Master Fire and Water Restoration. Fourth District Champion Boyd County Lions tonight, 56-55 in overtime over the Ashland Tomcats. Uh, Tom Holbrook has Boyd County head coach Randy Anderson. Tom? Coach, first of all, congratulations on a back-to-back -back district championship. Another ulcer-inducing game here tonight. What do you think about that? Tell you what, it's, it's been gray hair for a long time. Yes, sir. It, it, that may be coming out if we have any more of those. but. <laughs> Just really, really proud of our kids. I'm really, really proud of our assistants. Thought they did a really, really good job of being prepared, um, especially during timeouts. Coach Joe can, can draw them up with anybody, and Jess does a really good job with our defensive stuff. And so just really, really proud of our guys. I'm happy for our two seniors. It's just, you know what I'm saying, the undefeated at home, and, and uh, they've been really two special guys. And, and uh, just a little bit of boost going into the region. Absolutely, Coach. That's right. Next step. Region tournament next week. You know the draw is Saturday morning, correct? Yeah. I don't. I'll have to find out if uh, Coach Fraley's feeling lucky or not. Cause yes, if he is, he can he can draw the ball. He can draw the pills. And if not, I may have to go with Stumpy. Ooh, ooh. Let's let's hope not. Let's hope not. Coach, congratulations again. Great work tonight. Thank you. Appreciate you. Back to you guys. And 56-55, Boyd County defeats Ashland here, 64th District Basketball Championship. Uh, two games in a row, Boyd County and Ashland going into overtime. Yeah, I mean, that's what you expect out of the two best teams in the 16th region. And I, w I would not be surprised one bit to see these two teams face off again in the 16th region finals. Nope, not at all, not at all. But i uh, tell you what, uh, you got some stats for us here? I do for Ashland, who finished, uh, who lost, uh, what, what's the, I have a final score here at 56-55. 56 56-55. It was Xander Carter who led the way with 25 and 10. He was 11 of 22 from the floor. Behind him was Braxton Jennings with 10. Nate Freeze clocked in a double-double tonight, 10 and 10. Asher Atkins finished with four, Cam Davis with one, and I'm sorry, I missed Tyson Lalone, who finished with five on the night. For Boyd County, it was Jacob Spurlock, the hero tonight for the Lions. 26 and 13. Jason Ellis had 12. Cole Hicks with seven. Griffin Taylor with six. Derek Smith with five, and Alex Martin with two, and those are your scores. Tell you what, we had another barn burner here tonight. Uh, both teams go to Moorhead, though, mm -hmm. uh, next Thursday and Friday. Um, uh, isn't it Thursday, Friday, I think, or is it? No, it's Wednesday, Thursday. It's Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, right. Thursday for the boys. Girls is Monday, Tuesday. Uh, the girls will play the semis on Friday, finals on Saturday. Then the following, the, uh, the boys will play the semis on Monday and the finals on Tuesday. That's right, but don't forget to join us Saturday morning. We will be live from Tap That Sports 
at, uh, at Camp Landing with our selection show. We'll have several players from your favorite teams in attendance and might put them through a little bit of a combine while we're there too. I won't say too much about that, but we're, we plan on having <laughs> some fun. fun. That's right. And you know, Chris, uh, it's always great working with you. It, it really is. Um, and, and you know, the three games that we've got to do together this year have all three been extremely, extremely good ball games. Yeah, yeah, they've been great for you. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, I'll leave it at that. No, Greg, I, I love working with you. You're a professional. Uh, the way you prepare for each game, uh, you're here early. You're talking to players and coaches, getting the inside scoop. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody better than you on the mic, man. Oh, there's a lot better than me, and one of them's you. <laughs> so, that. Uh, but Boyd County wins it here tonight in overtime, 56-55. Both teams head, both teams head to Moorhead uh, next week to play in the 16th region tournament. That's the one that everybody wants. Okay, uh, so uh, it should be an exciting 16th region tournament uh, down in Moorhead. But a special thanks to Chris Pullum, uh, also with uh, Mike Miller and Tom Holbrook uh, upstairs. We got job. Andy and MJ. Um, and, you know, it's uh, it's just been a, a crew here tonight, and uh -huh. you know. Thing, you love postseason basketball, but I think I put on about 10 pounds every postseason with the, the hospitality, with hospitality room. room. Yeah. So. yeah, they take care of us for sure. But we'll be back on the air at uh, 9 o'clock, right? 9 o'clock Saturday. Saturday morning. So special thanks to all our sponsors, too. Uh, I'm Greg Preston. Good night and God bless. Logan Fraley Wallace with Executive Properties in Ashland, Kentucky. If you're looking to buy or sell, give me a call. I would love to be your realtor. Logan Fraley Wallace with Executive Properties. Buy your side in every move. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. owned and operated for three generations. We sell cars, do body work and repair. We've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on. And we have all kinds of great parts and accessories. Stop by and see us sometime here at Jim and Joe's. Four, three, two, one. Thank you.